So this time of year, we're starting to get south thistles. Now, they're not sweet thistles. If you feel it, they actually don't have layers. And I'm just going to pass this over. So taproot, rosette form, open fields, grassy fields, disturbed areas. Actually, if I want to say where it comes from, it comes from France. This is a non-native species. Over in Europe, it was grown as a garden vegetable. So this is related to the dandelion. So the leaves are quite bitter. Uh, if you see the flower buds, the flower buds look like the flower bud of a dandelion before it opens. These haven't opened. The flower buds are my favorite part on the south. Yeah, okay. The uh, as it comes around, the the uh, south thistle. When the bud has never opened, when the flower has never opened, the top will come together. It kind of looks like an any belly button. The different segments come together and the top will kind of turn in on itself just a little bit. Eventually it will open up into a yellow flower. So like a dandelion flower. And then that evening it will close into a point. The next morning when the sun hits it, it'll open up again. And that evening it'll close. Third morning it'll open up again. That night it'll close and it'll stay closed for several days. And then when it opens again, about three days after, it'll be the, the puff ball that it will make. Floats away, dandelion. But when you get the flower buds that are closed, like they are on this one here, uh, if you eat them raw, they're fairly bitter. So normally we don't eat them raw. What you do is you drop them in pickle juice. Hopefully everyone has a, a jar of pickles in their, in their refrigerator. Just throw the unopened buds from the south thistle into the pickle juice and let them soak for about six weeks. Longer the better. And it pickles them. And now when you take it out, the tongue has a hard time tasting bitter and sour at the same time. Sour, most people overwrite it. And so you won't, you'll get just hints of the bitterness and a lot of the pickle flavor. But the combination then is absolutely fantastic. It makes the best relish you've ever had on a hot dog or a sausage of any sort. So take the unopened <coughs> south thistle buds, drop them in the pickle juice, let them soak six to eight weeks, and then start eating. <coughs> really good on hot dogs. The stem, on um, this one is still small. Uh, you had mentioned you get some, you know, they can grow, you know, four feet tall. Um, the stem will be hollow. The leaves will come off the stem, so you'll have the stem. You'll have the rosette at the, at the bottom. You'll have a stem coming up, and then you'll have leaves alternating off the stem. Uh, stem's not all that edible. The leaves are okay. Use the same way you would use dandelion greens. Uh, probably the best way there is saute them in some bacon grease, uh, and then pour like a vinaigrette dressing over it. The roots of the south thistle I like. Again, at this stage it's fairly small, but when you have you know one three feet tall, the roots are about the size, yeah, about the size of my finger. Um, I'll pull it up, peel it, and then I will steam it with baby carrots. And the baby carrot mixed with the, the, the sweetness of the steamed baby carrots mixed with the the somewhat bitterness, but the, some of the steam some of the bitterness is removed by the steaming. It seems to be a really good combination. So it's one of the few ways my kids will eat some of the things I cook. So the baby carrot steamed with south thistle roots. Really, really, really good. So it's not a true thistle. It looks thistly. It is a one. Um, but you know, as you came by, you felt that it's not prickly. It just has little points. Um, the root is already starting to get fairly big. But it likes disturbed areas, it likes open sandy soils, it's a wintertime plant. It started showing up like late October and it'll pretty much be done with by the end of February. But uh, in particular these buds, these are great. You just drop the whole thing in there. Now sometimes you'll get ones covered with aphids. We have a special name for aphids, we call them protein. And they're animals. We do not want them. No, or you could go to Whataburger, or you could do Second Harvest. It's up to you. I'm not this is a judge for yourself. Social distancing sometimes has a benefit. So what is it? Is it these? Uh, yeah. So these are the unopened flowers. And to make a relish. Yep. Yep. And then just sprinkle.
pull it, Moses? Okay. Any questions about the south thistle? Um, a lot of times they'll start out kind of uh, purple in color, and that seems to be a combination of sunlight and soil chemistry. It's kind of pH dependent, like uh, you know, uh, phenolphthalein and so forth. Or if you've ever done the science fair project where you use uh, red cabbage as a pH acid indicator, look it up. There's lots of YouTube videos. <laughs> Is it better to uh, use smaller plants roots rather than the large? Uh, I go with all of them. I'm, I'm not too picky. <laughs> Starting to decide if that was a pun or not. But uh, yeah, I, I, uh, there there might be a slight flavor, better flavor when they're younger, but they're also smaller. So I, I, I'm a big guy. I need a lot of food. <laughs> so. Yeah, those are the main uses of the south thistle. Wintertime, if you see something that looks like a dandelion, it's probably a south thistle around here, actually. Okay. Uh, 